So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I eat without refrigeration. Many of you have been asking me how I go about eating and cooking without having a refrigerator. I planned having this so that I would be able to be off grid and you can be off grid these days with a refrigerator for a long time, but it does require a lot of power or should I say constant power. And then you have to figure out how much that will take in terms of your solar and your power station or whatever you have for an inverter or battery storage. And because I wanted to simplify and almost had to simplify because I don't know any of that stuff and I didn't want to bother with it when I set everything up, I was looking for solutions that would be the easiest without a lot of setup and that would work for me. I do realize that it's not for everyone and that's the point. Everybody has what works for them and you really have to think about that. I'm offering this solution as an alternative for people who either think like me or want to set up like me or again don't have skills and just want to know how to do this without having to have a complicated setup. So this is the simplest setup that I could think of for myself. I had also had prior experience living in Bolivia in the middle of the jungle for five years without any power, any running water, any anything, any infrastructure whatsoever. And it was part of my work that I did back then. And so I learned how to be able to live and eat without a refrigerator. And when I was thinking about doing this, I figured those same principles would apply. And it's actually a lot easier here because there are grocery stores and Walmarts and food markets and farmers markets pretty close to anywhere where you're going to be going. Also, the way that I eat doesn't require foods that require a lot of refrigeration. So when I was doing this setup, I was thinking, what my needs were, again, you always have to think about what your needs are and how you eat and what you like to eat and how you like to cook. I do like to try to get the most bang for my buck with nutrition. And so I eat a lot of organic whole foods. For me, it's dietary and without going into it in great detail, there are things with my digestion that I have finally gotten uh, corrected and I want to continue to keep my gut microbiome healthy. So uh, my choices are based on those kinds of things. And I do have some allergies to corn, soy, and egg. So I do have to think about the ingredients in everything that I eat. And if you live in the United States, especially, you've really got to watch it with the corn, soy, and egg because it's in almost anything that is a prepared food. So that is the reasoning behind the foods that I eat. I know a lot of you have wondered about that and asked about that and sometimes it's just hard to go into a lot of detail but since this whole video is about what I eat and how I eat it and what I do without refrigeration I am sharing that with you now. So I found these at Walmart oatmeal crumbles. So to switch it up from my digestives, I still have digestives. Thought I'd try these. Hmm. Yeah. That's what that looks like. Let me tell. Hmm. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. So I thought I'd explore a little bit. Take you guys along. It's a beautiful brisk morning. It's been hot during the day, so it's nice to get out when it's cool. I 
I love the sound of rushing wind just as much as I love the sound of rushing water or trickling water. So today we're going to go spend the day at Lake Abilene. There is a 3.5 mile hike, so that should be fun. So you're welcome to come along with us and enjoy the day. This is what we get to wake up to this morning and I'm just sitting here having my coffee and then yeah, that's what we'll do. How you doing there, Rain? I'm doing great, thank you. Lunch, nice healthy salad and some
you got this good, good tonight. I know, I don't know what happened. I run it, is it the same wood? Same wood on that. Uh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I know. And it was, it maybe it did dry out. The sun was out all day today, so. Some of you are also concerned that I get enough protein and again because I like to get as much nutrition as I can for what I'm eating. These things though help me, they're ripple milk. I'm at this beautiful state park that I stayed last night with Bev and some of her friends and it was amazing. I'm about to move on to cooler weather because it is quite hot down here in Texas, but it was a nice stop from coming from Abilene, working my way back up north for my son's birthday. And there's my little lady bucket. I'm just gathering some Kindle for a fire tonight. I get to stay here tonight. Hey. <laughs> So I have these chicken sausages. You don't need to have any refrigeration until after you open them. So I'll just cut these up. Might have one as a hot dog. That might be fun uh, on this piece of bread. And that'll be that. And when my hot dog is done, I will have this little bit of tahini on the bread and some, let's see, oil maybe, a little oil, vinegar. So I've got to cook it. I mean, it's, all, it's, it's already cooked, I just want to warm it up. I just remembered I had gotten some chips the other day, some potato chips that I get that are the, I think they're kettle chips. So these are the ones that I like. Sea salt and vinegar.
So I have this plastic bin out because tomorrow I'm going to make some chocolate chip pancakes in the morning for breakfast. I don't usually have a big breakfast, but I'm feeling like it. And the sun is going down. So today I told you I was going to make some pancakes, so let's see how that goes. I keep this tub underneath here, and that's what has things like baking soda, and chocolate chips, and our organic pancake mix that I use. I just keep them wrapped so that they don't get any little critters in them, and they're in the box then. It's worked so far. I like this pan because it does have the foldable handle, just clicks into place there. I also like it because it's shallow enough that I can do things like pancakes, but deep enough that I could cook pasta in it or something like that. So it's a one pan that meets a lot of those requirements and it has worked so far for me and it's big enough for the portion that I eat. So I am eggless because I have allergies to eggs so I use egg replacer. It is, these are non-GMO milk chocolate baking chips. I because I can't have corn syrup and things like that these are made of cane sugar instead of corn syrup, milk, cocoa butter, and cacao, and sunflower lecithin instead of soy lecithin. And I will use, where's my, I will use ghee, because that makes it smell really, really good, and it tastes really, really good. It's not too pretty. You got a little bit burnt. So I wish I had a rubber scraper. This is a little bit like that, but Coralie from Jump With No Fear, she has a really good hack. This doesn't do it as well, but for things like this where it gets around the side, if you use a rubber spatula to clean around the edges first, you can get a whole lot cleaned off before you have to use a towel or a rag or something. And I love that. It, it, it literally gets it clean. So go, I'll try to leave the link to that. It was brilliant how she does that. hope you've enjoyed seeing what I eat without refrigeration and what I'm able to do nutritionally and keeping it buried and delicious for myself. Again, you do you, whatever you like to do, however you like to cook, that is the best way. I'm just presenting the alternatives in case you find yourself without refrigeration or you have a similar setup that I do and you're wondering what to do. I hope it's helpful to you. And if you have any suggestions for me or for anybody else, leave them in the comments below. I know that those are helpful. I know that people browse those and get ideas as well. And so I will see you in the next video.